It was a season of denials at the resumed investigative hearing of the House of Representatives Committee on Petroleum Downstream. All invited oil companies alleged to have played roles in the importation of fuel suspected to have been blended with methanol into Nigeria denied responsibility. They are pointing an accusing finger at Britannia U as the sole importer of the said product. Although the importers Emadeb Hyde, A.Y. Kifi all claim to have formed a consortium with Britannia U to facilitate the effective operation of the direct sale, direct purchase scheme of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited. But the General Managing Director of NNPC Limited informed the legislative hearing that Britannia U alone got the contract to import from the originating port where the methanol blended fuel was said to have come from. In her defense, the CEO of Britannia U, Uju Ifejika, says all specifications were met. Was there any joint test between us, NNPC or whoever? There was not. You, they did an independent uh, um, inspection, which legally under the Nigerian law is a DPR that is supposed to do the um, testing. Now you have done the test. What is the test result? We don't have the test result as we speak today. What you did test, whatever, I'm not saying you didn't do test. Are you sure it's this Tom Hilden? Because everybody is calling Tom Hilden. No. We have all our documents. He met Nigerian specification. Was methanol part of Nigerian specification? The answer is no. Other companies in question also denied the allegations. I believe that the specification which we work with is issued by the Standards Organization of Nigeria. It's their prerogative to decide what parameters they want us to check for in line with global standards. So to your question, is it normal? Yes, all over the world, unless there's a specific need, you do not test for methanol. The committee is calling for the submission of all relevant documents relating to the importation of PMS within the period under review. After going through the documents, we are going to invite them again to come under, you know, it, they can come under all that time. So that if we have any other things that we need to verify, we we'll call them. They have to tell us whatever members want to ask, they can ask. The investigation continues on Wednesday when other companies will appear before the House Committee. Punaraman Benjamin, Arise News.